What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy King T here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a hyper pop virtual type melody. Probably for somebody like Lil Uzi and Ken Carson, you name it, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so for my first sound, we got this uh, one shot from the producer Grind Jump Kit. It's called the Cadence Plug Shot Cherry C. And it sounds like this. So yeah, it's very repetitive and very simple, right? Basically, when I was making this, like the main melody that I had in my head was dun, 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 dun. That's this part right here. That's how I started the whole melody. And basically after that, I just like build notes under it, you know, like. You know, I build like some chords under it too. Like, you know, it's very simple for real. Like when making these virtual type melodies, at least for me, like I like to keep each uh like each uh, sound simple. But when I add like you know effects to the sounds though and put it all together, it's gonna sound like real fire though. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, for that one, it's the EQ, cut out the lows, and then to complicate it all. So for the next sound, we got this one shot from Some Boys One Shot Kit. It's the Pixel One Shot, and literally I just uh, copy and pasted the same melody from the other plug to this one. It sounds like this. gives like the other uh sound some more juice to it you know what i mean so yeah for effects the eq and it was simple we keeping it simple so for the next one well actually now i'm gonna show you what it sounds like together right yeah i mean so next we got the lead from the same one shot kit it's called the smeowk uh lead and it sounds like this So for the settings for the lead, so um, you know, I've got the attack down and the release down, and then I went to porter, and I turn on uh, porter and mono, and I turn the slide up, just like to give like that slidey effect um, to it. So yeah, and then for effects, just a RC20, just to, uh, on the sampler 8-bit to make it sound a little bit more um, like retro. Then EQ for the lows. So next we got a different lead from I think the same uh, one shot kit from some boys kit and this one is more complex so it sounds like this so yeah this really is very repetitive I just copied like this same uh, pattern over here and changed like some of the uh, pictures or whatever um, and then over here, right, like it might sound different. I mean, it sounds different, of course, but pretty much I just like took this um, part right here and I um, basically I had I had timed it or I double timed it to make it go faster. So, yeah, for effects, I got a Valhalla super massive on it on the default preset because um, without effects, it sounds like this. And that's cool, but like, you know, that's kind of too dry. So I added that along with a vocal X to make it sound more uh, virtual. And yeah. And then I took out, for the EQ, I took out uh, a lot of the highs and some harsh frequencies, cause yeah, it is a pretty um, harsh lead. So yeah. And then we got a synth right here from the same Sunboy One Shot Kit. Bro, 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 bro. I tell you, bro, uh, Sunboy's kits is fire, no cap. Especially for making like these, you know, Hyper pop rage type melodies is definitely needed. Okay. So 
So yeah, so if you heard the melody before, right, uh, wasn't much low end in it. And so, of course, I'm gonna add a bass to the melody, but I needed something to fill in the low end without a bass. So, so I grabbed the synth right here, right? And you know, I added some slides to it too. And yeah, I think that it definitely helped make the melody sound a lot fuller. Also too, right, for the effects. So I thought effects sounds like this. So, you know, it has some low end, but just, you know, I needed some more though, so you know, I got a half time with it, you know, one bar preset, and then a free phaser to make it sound, you know, like it's kind of like going through a tunnel, almost like that. And then the EQ, just like the cutout, like, you know, just like the, uh, the very low end, so, yeah. So, um, so far we get this right here. Skip the bass and I'm gonna go to the, uh, the arpeggio here, arpeggio. And I use Electro X, and I'm not gonna lie, Electro X is very good for these types of melodies too, especially depending on what kind of bank you get. I'm using the Ichu Cosmic Electro Bank because you know I use it a lot in this fire. And literally, like I said, bro, keep it simple. I copy the same melody to the arp and get this right here. together too it was nice um you know you got a pancake just to make it go from left and right uh you know in your ear with the panning and then the eq of course to cut out a lot of the um lows in the mids too because i didn't want it like to clash with the other stuff too so having that like that high-end um you know mounts into your ear um helps make it unique so then next we got a texture which i don't know if people like use textures a lot in you know virtual melodies but you know i found it pretty cool for real um, when it comes to textures, Atmosphere is very good for it. So yeah, I got the Chase the Flute lead, and of course you know I put it, make sure it was like the, um, the same scale as the melody. It sounds like this. sure it was in like the retro um, texture thing if I'm not mistaken um, yeah so for that one to make it sound more you know virtual you know got a low codex on it low codex, low codex is very fire for, for making things sound more uh, hyper pop and you know these like synth type melodies then we got a magic dice which is a free plugin basically what it does is like it'll just have like some random effect to your melody I don't know what it like what Actually goes on in the program, but you know, I listen, right? I'm like, I'm gonna turn this all the way up and you'll see what I mean. So this is more like a reverb, I'm pretty sure, right? Then an EQ to cut out some lows and some um, uh, mid frequencies and some high frequencies too. But yeah, and then for the last thing, I've got this Cymatics um, vocal chop. And I'm not gonna lie, I started using more vocal uh, loops and chops in my melodies because like, I don't know, but this is nice for real. So yeah, it sounds like this. So yeah, that was the vocoder loop 59 from Cymatics, but yeah. And because it was like, you know, had like a, an abrupt edit to it. So I wanted it to like to sound more smoother, to sound smoother. Uh, when it cuts off, so that's why I had a reverb to it and EQ. So yeah, now finally, you know, we come to the bass, right? But I got like damn near like four bases on it. But yeah, so let's start with, I guess, the first bass that I added to it was this um, Sunboy one shot um, bass. It's called the Concrete Bass, and it sounds like this. Did was that I layered it with a basement serum to make it sound beefier, right? So the basement serum is the angle grinder, and this bass is like so hardcore, but it sounds like this. Like, 
bro, it's like Megatron or something like that. But yeah, so you know, when you layer those two together, it sounds like this. Right? So then now for like the parts in between, right? What I did was I added this little uh, like pattern based thingy from Serum. It was the Base Anger 1999 base, and it sounds like this. So yeah, it's pretty much it's like a synth at the same time, but it's also a bass too. Like it's real nice when you layer it with the other stuff. So then I got this other um bass. The words this up? I forgot where I got it from, but pretty much it's a bass, and I reversed it just to give like the what I just showed you, like some more uniqueness to it, right? So sounds like this. Yeah, so when you layer the bases together, you get this. for that you know what i mean but yeah thank you for the end of the video if you did go ahead and like the video you know like the video you know what i mean leave a like comment subscribe follow my ig and everything if you want to be on my email list for my loops go ahead and drop your email down below or just hit me up and i got you for real but yeah you know have a good day and everything and um uh, let me know what you want to see next peace